Hey class, <clears throat> today I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a new and improved way that I should have shown you the first time of downloading your images from a device. Now, if you are not able to plug your device into your laptop, then you don't have to watch this. Um, but these are for those of y'all that either have digital cameras, iPhones, or Android devices, um, or even like tablets or things like that that can take pictures. But I found it's a much easier way of downloading, but if you still have to use the method for emailing them or texting them to yourself, that is perfectly fine um, if that method has been working well for you. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is make sure our device is plugged in, like we know, with a USB cable. That's usually just the charging cable. And you want to make sure your device is open, meaning the screen is not off, it's unlocked. Um, and whenever you plug it into your laptop, it should prompt you with the same message I talked about, about allowing um, your de this device, aka the laptop, have access to your phone. And again, it won't take anything off your phone unless you tell it to. So don't worry about that. But you do want to make sure you hit allow and that your screen is on during this whole process, meaning the phone is unlocked. All right. First thing we're going to do is we are going to go to our search bar down here at the bottom left, and we are going to type in photo. And as you see, even I'm um, close to it, it already has the photos app available. Excuse my cat, she's wanting me to feed her, even though it's not her dinner time, if you can hear her in the background. Um, we're going to open the photo app. And what we're going to do is we are going to import now um, our images here. Now, if it prompts you with a couple of pictures that say, um, or, or a couple of windows that say, hey, register or log in, you don't have to worry about that. You can close through it if it's the first time you're opening the photo app. I was able to do the same thing myself. So I'm going to go, like I said, up here to import. And I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to choose from a USB device. Now, it's going to take some time for this to happen, especially if you're someone like me that has literally thousands of photos on my phone from over the years that I've had, had it. Um, so this might take a little while, but at first I thought this wasn't working with my phone. Uh, but the funny thing was that when I actually recorded this to show Android users how to do this step, to get their pictures, all of a sudden it did discover my phone and started searching for the images. Now it's saying zero found so far, but sometimes this is just going to take a few minutes for it to start looking through the device or looking for the device and then start accessing all the images. Again, it's not downloading anything now. You're actually going to be able to choose which images specifically. So you can see now the number's starting to go up. It'll take a little more time because, like I said, I have thousands of images on my phone. But the nice thing is, is that when it pops up in the next window, it will actually um, allow me to click and check which ones I want to download and not worry about any of the other images. And there we have it. So it's finally accessed my phone after waiting for about a minute. It went through all the files to see what they are. And you can see I've got some of the most recent pictures that I've taken here that I'm actually going to be showing you guys later today on this lesson. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the ones that I want to download. And I will go ahead and click on import 17 of 3,852. There's also other ways that you can adjust. Um, you can do all items if you want to. You don't have any images. You just want to do it all at once. Um, eventually, we could do items since last import or none. Um, but that's just a way of kind of doing some more selections if that is um, if you don't want to just sit through, sit here and click all of them. So I'm going to go ahead and click on import 17 of however many you have. And it will go ahead and bring them into this photo app that we can go ahead and browse and look at. Now, when it comes to finding these files, they should just automatically be going into your pictures folder. So let's take a look and let's figure out where these images went. So this would be like if you're trying to upload into Google Classroom or Pixlr, like we're going to be doing on this first lesson. So we're going to open up our file folder. We're going to make sure we go to our pictures folder. 
And as you can see, instead of just dumping it in the pictures folder, it actually has created a folder for me that's already predated for Sunday at, uh, evening, like I'm recording this right now. So I'll go ahead and double click on that. And you can see it has all the images that I selected and it's already imported them into our computer. So when we need to find these photos later to put in Google Classroom or Pixlr, this will be how you find them. They're in your pictures folder, but every time you import using the photos app, like I just showed you, it's going to put them in a brand new folder every single time. All right, guys, so that should be it. And um, for teaching you guys how to import using a cable for whatever it is you need. And hopefully this makes life a little easier for some of us that were probably a little frustrated last week when trying to import things via email or text if you're not able to actually plug your device in. And I apologize, you can turn this off. For some reason, my screen recorder is not letting me close.